F41.08, significant at P less than 0 0.0001, and a partial eta squared of 8. So I feel confident that even though I violated the assumption of homogeneity and I have unequal sample sizes, that this is probably still a statistically significant effect. And the partial eta squared is saying that 8% of the variability in salary is being accounted for by gender. So a pretty big effect. Now nearly 10% of the variance in, ver in uh, salary is due to gender. But we don't know uh, is that, well, maybe it's simply because there are more males that are managers, because that's an important observation, because job category is also statistically significant. So as we looked at the plot, as you increased in role level, if you want to say that clerical is lower than custodial, I don't know, just for the purpose of this data, that's what the data are saying. Um, we can see that that is statistically significant. So there's at least one mean comparison within job category that's statistically significantly different. So whether it's manager and custodial, we'd, we'd assume that at least the largest difference between uh, the largest difference between clerical and manager would be statistically significant, but we don't know if clerical, custodial versus manager is going to be different and clerical versus custodial. That's why we have to do postdoc testing. But at the very least, we know there's a statistically significant difference in there somewhere. Now, the, now to the interaction, arguably the most interesting aspect of this study, this simulated study. And it's saying that it's significant at p less than 0 0.008, so that passed my alpha level of 0 0.001, which I, are, you know, I kind of arbitrarily set. Instead of 0 0.05, I wanted to be more conservative because I, I rejected the Levine's test of homogeneity of variance, and I've got unequal sample sizes. So I've set it at 0 0.001. And we can see that the partial eta squared is accounting for 3% of the variability in salary. So uh, that's not a huge amount, but it's saying that how much, uh, how much difference there is between genders seems to depend on job category. And as we looked in the plot, it looks like it's really the manager that's carrying the weight of the interaction. Uh, the difference between clerical and custodial, they're both going upwards, both male and female. But we don't know if it's statistically significantly different if males are going up even higher than females. We have to, we have to supplement that with another test. But it does definitely look like once you get from custodial to manager, that the males really shoot up really high. And that's probably where the most, most of the interaction is actually taking place. OK, so we need to follow this up with further analyses, because this is just our main effects. We need to decompose this. Now, gender is easier to decompose, because there really are only two levels. So we necessarily know that it's just the male-female difference that we can possibly test. And that's what it's showing us as being statistically significant. But job category, we don't. And gender by job category, we don't either. So looking at gender, here are the means, the estimated marginal means. Yeah, that option that I chose in SPSS to throw in uh, into that category. Uh, and we can see something very important here. Male mean is 46,219, whereas females are in 33,722. Now, this number is surprising. It might be surprising. And I don't expect anyone to have remembered what the male mean was in the first descriptive statistics. But males actually had a total, when you, when you look at males with sample size of 248, this table said it was $43,040. But when we look at the estimated marginal means, it's telling us that the mean is 46,219. What's the difference here? What's going on? Why would that happen? It says 43,000 here. And what's happening is that SPSS, in the estimated marginal means, and when it actually conducts the ANOVA, it's actually pretending that there's no difference between the sample sizes. And so what it does is it calculates an average mean across the groups. So let me show you that. 31, 558.15 plus 38, 699.35 plus 68, 400, 
0.01 equals, so I just added up these.